the entire United States is going to be treated to a total solar eclipse on August 21st, 2017. I'm meteorologist Jason Myers, and here's everything you need to know about the eclipse, what it is, how to watch it, and what kind of weather can you expect? A total solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the sun and the earth and blocks out all or part of the sun for up to about three hours from beginning to end. And for a few brief moments in the middle, it'll be dark in the middle of the day. Around the world, total solar eclipses aren't that rare. Astronomers predict 68 of them in the current century, which adds up to roughly one every year and a half. Total solar eclipses seen in the United States are a little more rare, with five occurring in the next 35 years. This year's 2024, 2044, 2045, and 2052. This year's total eclipse can be seen in all its glory along a thin path stretching from Lincoln Beach, Oregon to Charleston, South Carolina. Everywhere else in the United States, we'll still be able to see a partial eclipse. An event like this we haven't seen since June 8, 1918. But don't go staring at the sun or you could go blind. Instead, you'll need some special eyewear to prevent permanent eye damage. You can buy special solar eclipse glasses and binoculars online. Some libraries are giving them away for free. Welder's glasses with a number 14 rating will also work. And if you're in a pinch, you can make a pinhole projector by poking a hole in a single piece of paper and projecting the sun's image on a second piece of paper. If the outdoors aren't your thing, NASA will be streaming the eclipse live on their website. And once you're all set, the only thing that could stop you is the weather. More specifically, clouds. Thankfully, NOAA's National Centers for Environmental Information reviewed 10 years worth of weather data across the country for August 21st and put together an interactive map of how likely your chances are of clear skies. The takeaway? Clear skies are most likely in the Intermountain West. The chances for clouds increases east of the Mississippi River, and both coasts have higher chances for cloudy skies ruining the solar show. If you don't want to take your chances with the weather, Alaska Airlines is holding a contest to fly some lucky winners above the clouds and over the Pacific Ocean to be some of the first people in the United States to view the eclipse. 12 million people live within the path of totality, and 220 million more are within a day's drive. If you're missing this eclipse for some reason or another, you're going to have to wait until April 8th, 2024 for the next total solar eclipse in the United States. Either that, or start planning your trip to Chile and Argentina in South America for two years from now. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up, comment below, and as always, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one.